Hello, my beautiful friends. How is everybody doing today? I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. I didn't do much, you guys. I pretty much laid low. Um, I did some much needed housework that needed to be done, uh, getting everything ready for the holidays, you know, that fun stuff, you guys. But I am going to be doing a full face of ColourPop today, so I'm super excited about that. Um, I actually got inspired by Samantha March. I saw her uh, reviewing a palette by ColourPop, and I had to order it. You guys know how that goes. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, I'm super excited again to be doing a full face of, you know, a one brand. So you guys, um, <laughs> the only bad thing is I actually had ordered this palette uh, after seeing her uh, video and then the Willy Wonka, you know, thing came out and I saw that over on Instagram and had purchased that. So they're very similar, you guys. And <laughs> this one is called not a, bo a box of chocolate. So this was like a little collection that they had. Um, must have been a little while back because when I went on, you know, the website, uh, it wasn't in the main feature. So this is the palette here. Um, and I did some swatches and it looks completely different than the Wonka palette. Of course, there's uh, a lot more choices to choose from. Uh, it's a little more deeper, more richer. So I am so excited though still, you guys. So um, yeah, I got that and a few other things um, while I was on their website. You know, you kind of want to get the free shipping. So yeah, I was watching her video. Um, actually, she was reviewing uh, this palette and she also was mentioning uh, she might be quitting YouTube, which I was very kind of shocked and saddened by because I think, you know, from my standpoint, she's doing very well. You know, she has over 100,000 um, subscribers. And if you guys don't know who I'm talking about, I'll link that video down in the description box um, if you want to go check out that video and her because she's actually very um, good at what she does. You know, she she's very busy, and I get that. She has her own brand. Um, she And I'm using tape, you guys, the one from Amazon. I'm so sorry. I am going to use tape today. And I don't think I mentioned that I say prime my eyes, but I already prime my eyes um, using this primer here. And I'll link that in the description box. So for me, on my standpoint, she seems to be very successful. But again, like I said, she's very busy. She has like her own brand. Um, and she also, you know, she sells some stuff and she does a lot on Instagram and, you know, TikTok. And, you know, it does. It gets overwhelming. And I think. From what I understood in her video, she just feels like she's not, you know, getting any, any further on YouTube, which I can totally relate, you guys. I can. So, you know, I understand her decision, and, yeah, um, I just hope that, you know, I think she's given it to the end of the year, and I hope she changes her mind. So this palette doesn't come with a mirror, just so you know. Um, and I'm going to start with this shade here, uh, Praline, and I'm just going to start that in my crease here, and I'm just going to go slightly above I'm just going to bring this um, eye look. It's going to be kind of richer um, and deeper. And I do want it to cover pretty much the whole eye space here. So I am going to start higher than I usually do. But that is a very um, pretty shade. And it's just very subtle. So not too deep, but that's kind of just what I want. Okay, you guys, uh, hopefully I, that was the right decision. But, you know, again, I'm just kind of laying a color. And like I said, I want this to be pretty deep. Okay, and I'm actually just going to use, um, I think, the same brush. And I'm just going to clean it off. And then I'm going to go into this shade here on Chip. Um, I'm having to put my glasses on in between here, you guys, to see the names of these um, shades because they are very small. Okay, so this is really pretty. That's going to deepen up this look a lot. And I'm actually just going to bring it down onto the eyelid just a little bit too. Um, yeah, you know what? I want it to go deeper or richer, so we're going to have to darken this up, you guys. These are more um, very warm shades, which is the look I was going for, but I want it deeper, if that makes any sense. These shades are very hard to read because... As you can see, they are like in cursive and they're very small and it looks like all the um, letters run into the, each other. But I think that is called Armoretto. So I'm going to take that and it looks like a very nice, rich, deep brown. And I'm going to add that right here in this crease. And you guys, the way my eye shape is because oop, I am lifting here on my tape. Uh, <laughs> the way my eye shape, my eye shape is. Um, and because it is hooded, 
it's almost like I have different layers to that because there's so much space from here to my eyebrow um, that I really have to, you know, decide where I'm going to lay these shades because otherwise either you won't see them or they're going to look very choppy. So my, my eye shape is so hard to work with. Um, yeah, it's not as easy as it seems. Okay, so now that is starting to deepen up um, to what I was looking for, and I'm just going to take that brush that I had right before, and I'm just going to really smooth out these edges. I'm sure you guys are wondering, you know, why I haven't done anything with a Sephora a sale. And I'll tell you, I'm going to explain that a little bit too. I did want to touch base on that. Um, the reason why I haven't is, hold on you guys, let's think of a shimmer here. I wish you guys could help me pick out uh, which shimmer to go with this because um, there's so many to choose from and they're all so beautiful. But I think I'm actually going to go with, hold on you guys, let me get my little monocle. I can't see here. Um, I think it's called Vibe Chalk. I don't know, but that's what we're going to go with here. That's what it's called today, you guys. So I'm going to place that on my finger. And what do I have on my finger on the other one? I don't know, you guys. Anyway, so I have not ordered anything from the Sephora sale. And I'm going to tell you why. But that is really pretty deep, rich brown. Ooh, yeah, that is. And it has like a gold shift in it oh that is so pretty so i was watching jen phelps and in the inner corner here you guys i'm going to use this shade here i'm not going to try with these names anymore okay so it's a very light shade so she was stating uh that she actually wasn't going to order from the sale either and the reason being and she made perfect sense um she's actually very brilliant again if you have never seen her channel i'll link that um down below she is very good at what she does as well um, she does a lot of research and she makes a lot of sense so anyway what she said the reason why she will not be ordering um, is because she got wind um, she must have a way of finding these things out you know because she does have a lot of subscribers as well um, that the sales from the brands themselves will be having way better sales you know, um, on their websites, like even before Black Friday, um, it's going to be going on. I think it'll be starting next week um, and it will last all the way to Cyber Monday. So she's going to wait. She said those sales are much better. And honestly, you guys, my tier is so low at Sephora because I do most of my ordering. You guys know drugstore, Ulta, uh, very rare do I go to Sephora so I'm way down on the totem pole, and I think I only get like 15% off. So that's not going to be that great of a deal, you guys. So I think I'm going to go uh, follow her lead and see what these sales bring, you know, from the brands themselves. Um, she was talking like some of them. I'm just taking a clean brush, you guys, and just kind of blending everything together here. Um, she said some of the brands themselves are going to be having sales like, for up to 40% off. Now that seems like a heck of a lot better than 15% off at Sephora for me. So I think I'm going to follow her lead. Okay, you guys, Um, I think I do just want to add a little bit more here. And I think I'm going to use this flat brush and I'm going to try this shade here. It looks light and I hope it is. And I hope, <laughs> hope I'm not making a mistake, mistake here and just go, yep, nope. I'm glad I stopped and just tested that. It, I think that's just going to be too deep for the eyebrow or the brow bone so we're just going to leave it at that and i'm even deciding if i want to even darken this up a little bit and i think i will and i think i'm going to try this shade right here in this um corner here and i'm going to take a small fluffy brush and just sweep that ever so slightly right here at that edge or corner outer corner here and kind of sweep it into that shimmer and that's just going to create a little deepness here um at that outer corner <laughs> so that's what we're doing here okay there is um a little fallout but not too bad okay you guys i actually really like how this turned out i think this looks really pretty i just wish there was a lighter shade just to kind of 
go around um, the brow bow there. So this is a very nice palette. I think it blended out very beautifully, um, easily. Um, and yeah, so I'm super happy with this. And like I said, it's similar to the Blanca, but it's different. You know, there's more choices for sure. Okay, you guys. So I did also, uh, while I was on their website, get a new liner, a new BFF liner. And this one is in the shade Grande. So it's a deep, rich brown. So I'm super excited about this. I love the black one. It's very um, long wearing. So, you know, I'll be testing uh, the brown one. Hopefully uh, that is long wearing as well. I love that brown though. It's very rich and deep. Um, so I love using this tape, but before I ever go to do my liner, you guys, I make sure that it is stuck pretty good. And I'm going to start here and work my way in. And just using this tape makes it so much easier. And that is it, you guys. So you can, it's hard to tell uh, because, you know, these browns are so rich, but it just adds a little bit, you know, just enough. So I actually really like this um, brown with this, you know, because it's going to soften the look. Um, it won't look as harsh as if I was to use black. Okay, the liner was very easy to work with. And let's see, moment of truth, you guys, how even um, I got this. So I think it's pretty, pretty even. Now, when I do this, you know, you can see that there's all these little harsh lines. Um, again, I will take a very uh, clean brush here and I will just sometimes just use a circular motion just to soften that edge. Now, if you really wanted a sharp edge, then, you know, I would just leave it. But I do like mine a little bit more uh, diffused, but I do like using the tape because it does lift the eye a little bit. So I'm just going to take off um, the fallout, which was, like I said, very minimal. Let's get into um, the complexion. I didn't really get anything new, but I'm definitely going to be using what I have in my collection. Um, but for my pore filler, pore filler, if I can find it, I am just going to use my Maybelline uh, Master Blur Stick because I don't have any primer. Um, I was looking from Color ColourPop. I'm just putting that on my T-zone. And for the primer itself, I think I'm just going to use my Good Molecules here. I've been really liking this. Um, and it's silicone free, which I really love. And it's more like a moisturizer than a primer. So um, I do love the moisture that it gives to me. And for foundation, I'm going to use my ColourPop Pretty Fresh. And this has hyaluronic acid in it. And I got two different shades going on. Um, I'm like in an in-between phase, you know, my self-tanner kind of wearing off. So um, I might mix these two. And the two that I have is medium. And this is uh, 95N. And this one is light 60N. So let's see what they look like, you guys. Um, and we'll just go from there. So I'm just going to put like... One pump of each, and yeah, there's, this one is, I think, maybe too dark. Mm. You guys, I think I'm going to mix them. I think this is going to come up with the, you know, the perfect little shade. But yeah, you guys, I love this foundation. There was a time when I pretty much used this uh, nonstop, but, you know, it has a decent amount of coverage. Um, it is hydrating to the skin. It's a more, uh, I would say about a medium coverage. You can get it to there. And, you know, it does have like a little dewiness to it. So for mature skin, I just think it is so beautiful. It's very lightweight. It's very skin-like. It never looks cakey. Um, I do remember from, you know, when I used it in the past, you know, it lasts all day. It didn't settle in my fine lines or wrinkles. So, yeah, this is a really good foundation. And I probably could have got away with using just the lighter uh, shade. I can kind of tell, you know, mixing the two, it's a little off. So uh, note to self next time. Okay, you guys, and I'm going to use their concealer too, the Pretty fresh with hyaluronic acid and I believe this is in the shade light 40 N so I'm actually going to try to mix this around I have not used this in a hot minute and um, I don't know why because I do know that I like this concealer as well so I'm just going to place oh it looks like a great um, shade match for me so I'm actually going to use a little bit more 
than usual. I've actually been doing that, you guys, using more than I'm used to using. Um, ever since I started using that Make One, uh, the Skim Mimetic one, and I don't know, you guys, if we're just going to keep playing around until I can find what I'm happy with. So I'm just going to use my BK Concealer Brush here. I love this brush for concealer. Um, it's like using your finger, you know, it really blends out the concealer and it's just very smooth and soft. Okay, I hope this is a good uh, shade match, guys. Um, it might be a little lighter than I was thinking in this light. So let me grab my sponge and just pick up a little bit of this product. I may have used too much of that one because this is a little bit full coverage. So uh, we will see you guys. Yeah, I forgot how high coverage this concealer is. So uh, note to self, next time I use that, not to use um, as much. My under eyes have just been really been playing tricks on me lately, you guys. So, um, yeah, one day I feel like I have to use a lot of concealer, and the next day I don't feel like I should use enough or that much. Okay, and to set my face, I'm going to use their uh, No Filter Setting Loose Powder, and I got mine in the shade Peach. So I'm actually going to try to set under my eyes with this and just pretty much the whole face. So it looks like this and I used this not too long ago and I think actually on the channel and I really um, liked how it did look under my eyes. So let's see if it still works and I'm going to use very little you guys because this is so full coverage. I think uh, for me, the concealer. So I'm just going to use a little bit and I'm actually going to take a brush and really just sweep away the rest. Yeah, that looks really good um, under the eyes. I think once I put like a setting spray, it's going to look really good. Okay, guys, so now I'm just going to uh, powder my T-zone and this is a very nice powder. Um, I need to bring it out more because it really does smooth everything down. Um, it doesn't look cakey at all. Now this is really pretty. Hey guys, these brushes grab a lot of product and I gotta remember that, so I gotta be very careful. So I'm gonna place that everywhere where I applied uh, the foundation, that way it just sets it down. Okay, I did get another new product, well, new to me, um, and it's their quad here, and this is called Born to Blush. It has, um, I believe, two blushes, yeah, two blushes, a highlighter, and I guess you could use this as your um, bronzer, so I'm definitely going to try this whole palette out, but it's super pretty. I love uh, that highlighter. That is really pretty, so I'm just going to place a little bit on a brush here. And maybe just tap off a little bit because I hope it's not too orange. And let's just go in and see. Oh, nope. I think I need to grab more product actually. So, um, yeah, it's a little, it looked deeper in the pan. So this might be just perfect and I can build this up. So that is nice. It has like a little, I don't know, reddish undertone. Uh, which I would prefer than orange. So yeah, I do like that. I feel like I do have to keep going in though and getting um, more product. And maybe I just got too light of a palette. I'm not sure, but yeah, I feel like I do have to keep going in. Um, again, that could be a good thing and it could be a frustrating thing. Um, it just depends, you know, how pigmented it is on your skin. On my skin tone, I feel like I'm just having to go back in quite a few times just to get the deepness that I'm wanting. So it could be just the brush I chose. So I just picked up a more fluffy brush and I am just going to try to move it around. Yeah, it's okay. You know, it's not my favorite bronzer, that's for sure. Okay, you guys, I'm actually going to go and maybe mix these two um, for my blush. So I'm just going to grab that. And see if these are a little bit more pigmented. Yeah, that is a little bit more pigmented than the um, bronzer, I think. Have you guys tried uh, these palettes, these quads? If so, I would love to hear your thoughts and see what you guys think. So I'm just actually going to take my sponge and just go around the edges here just to calm those down. 
And let's try this highlighter because that looks super pretty. I just hope it's not, ooh, it is not a chunky glitter at all. Ooh, now I love this highlighter. But ColourPop's highlighters are always just gorgeous. So yeah, I'm just going to place a little there, there. And you guys, let's place a little bit uh, in the inner corner. And I think I'm going to use, um, I found this down here. I, I remember this being um, <laughs> something I purchased, you guys. I think it was, I don't even remember. But I found it, but I'm going to use that to place that on my inner corner. That is perfect. It's like a little silicone, like Q-tip or something. Um, but yeah, you can reuse it, so that's nice. Okay, so that is really pretty um, highlighter for sure. I really love that. Okay, so I did get another... Um, product while I was at Ulta. Uh, so I got these through Ulta um, the other day and uh, the other products I got on ColourPop's new, um, or <laughs> ColourPop's website. And I am, I just heard or found out actually that ColourPop is selling at Target. How exciting is that? So, okay, so this new product that I did pick up, it's actually um, like their, it's called uh, the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner and their Level Up um, Mascara. It was only $10, you guys. That's why I grabbed it. I don't know how great this is going to be, but we're going to try it. So it's a retractable eyeliner. And again, it's gel. Hmm. So I'm actually going to place this on the upper waterline. And I'm not going to take it all, uh, over all the way. I'm just going to pretty much place that. Oh, I'm going to poke my eye out, you guys. Uh, i got to be careful talking. I'm just going to place this on the outer edge and like towards the middle. So I'm not going to bring it all the way over again because I have small hooded eyes and I don't want to close that off. Okay, you guys, let's try out this mascara. So I'm pretty excited to try that. But yeah, I'm just curious to see if you guys purchased anything from the Sephora sale if so, what did you guys get? And have you tried it? Do you like it? Um, what am I missing out on? So I do have some ideas in mind of what I want to get. Um, definitely those blush sets from LYS. Those are so beautiful. I absolutely love, love the one I have. So, um, you know, having three. And I think they were on sale, I think for $20 on Sephora. But it's going to be even cheaper on their website that one I know for sure is going to be 40% off. Okay, this uh, mascara is actually um, nicer than I was anticipating. Um, so let me show you. It's just a very small um, component here. And the wand is definitely old school, but the bristles are very um, spread, you know, spread apart. So I was a little worried that it was not going to create volume, but it actually is. Yeah, you guys, I really like that mascara. Um, I'll wear it to work tomorrow and let you guys know in the description box if it flaked or smeared or anything or smudged. So, yeah, I really, really liked how that applied. Um, yeah, it gave my lashes length and volume. Pretty impressive. Okay, let's go back into uh, the palette here, and we're just going to finish off this um, lower lash line. So, I think I'm going to go into uh, that shade and place that on the outer corner here. Ooh, is that pigmented? Yeah, that grabbed a lot of product. And then to smudge all that out, I'm going to use that shade. That was uh, the first transition shade that I used. And again, just going to place that all along the lower lash line. Okay, you guys, I'm actually debating if I want to put this black on the waterline too. Let's do that and see how that will look. I normally don't like putting any black on the lower lash line because it really does close off my eye. But I want to try something here. So I'm going to take this brush again and I'm really going to smudge that out. I see people do it all the time. And it looks so pretty on them. And I'm just hoping that it will work. Like I said, with my eye shape. So yeah, you guys, I'm not too sure about using a black eyeliner on my waterline. I feel like my eyes are super squinty and it just closes them off even more. And I feel like it kind of aged me a little bit. But let me know what you guys think and be honest. 
Okay, you guys, in my order, I did get a couple of lip products. And I'm super excited to try these. They're like a rich chocolate brown. And I'll show you the swatch here. As you can see, it is so beautiful. And the lip liner feels super uh, creamy. So I'm super excited to try this out, you guys. And um, let's see if I can get it out of the box. The only thing is it's not retractable. You guys know how I love my ret retractable uh, lip liners only because I have the worst time sharpening these things. So I don't know, you guys. I will figure out a way, of you know, to sharpen my pencils and make it work. But let's try this out. Yeah, super creamy, you guys. Oh, they just glide right on. And I love the shade. Again, it takes me back to the 90s. This is so beautiful. I'm going to have to learn how to sharpen these pencils because I can see myself grabbing for this a lot during the winter. You know, maybe just throw a gloss over it. It would just, oh, love this. Okay, you guys, and I did get their, um, it's called a lippy stick and it's also in the shade grunge. And I'll show you a swatch uh, that I did upstairs on this. Again, I'm super excited to see how these two are going to work together. Um, so let's give this a try. I've never, I don't think I've ever tried um, any of their lippy sticks. So let's see. Oh, you know what it kind of reminds me of? My Tarte one. Um, okay, this one you do turn. The Tarte one you kind of uh, click, but I don't know. It just kind of reminded me of that. All right, you guys, let's see how these two look together. Oh, I thought this was going to be a little bit more creamy. But I can tell it's going to have really good staying power. There is a little chocolate, I think, scent to this. I am picking up like a scent. Yeah, I thought it was going to be more creamy, but ooh, look at that. Oh, I love the shade. I love these two. I'm just really into these really deep colors, which is unusual for me. You know, I'm usually into the nude shades, but I don't know. There's something about this chocolate rich brown uh, that I'm really into this year. Again, yeah, there, it's a very matte formula, but it's comfortable. You know, I don't feel like my lips are dry. It's just, yeah, I just thought they were going to be a lot more creamier. Okay, guys, so all we got to do now is set the face, and I'm actually going to use my um, ColourPop Pretty Fresh. I love this, as you guys can see, and I got to back up upstairs. And, okay, I'm looking for my poo-poo. So let's just spray the face. Okay, and then I'm just going to take um, a poo-poo here and really press that setting spray into the skin. And I just find that that really smooths everything down just a little bit more. Okay, you guys, this is today's final look. I actually love how this turned out. I think all the products really complemented each other beautifully. I was a little nervous about that orange here, but as you can see, it really tied into this look. So let's just do a quick rundown on the products I did purchase. Uh, the palette here by ColourPop. I love ColourPop's palettes. You can't go wrong, you guys. If you're looking for a rich chocolate brown uh, palette, this one is it. I absolutely love that shimmer right here. That is so my vibe. But everything blended out beautifully their formula is amazing um, and this little quad here I wasn't too sure about at first uh, but I think everything just like I said tied in beautifully I actually ended up loving this blush I love how it really worked with this palette here um, and again if you guys have this palette I would love to know your thoughts on it um, the highlighter is just spectacular love that uh, let's talk about the lip products here I love this color here. It is so my vibe this winter season. I was looking for that raisin, you know, what I mentioned in that last video. Um, I think L'Oreal used to make it or something. So I will be using uh, this lip combination a lot. Okay, you guys, and the eyeliner, I really love this. So let's test this really quick, you guys, and see if it's as good as the black one that I have upstairs. There I go, making a mess again. But let's see if it is waterproof. See, now the black one is a little bit more waterproof uh, than this brown one, but you guys, I love their uh, liner, so I will deal with it. <laughs> and this little combo here, I was a little surprised by uh, the mascara. Again, I'm going to wear this to work tomorrow. I'll let you guys know if it does smudge, smear, or uh, flake. I've actually had it on my eyes for a couple of hours. I've been taking a few breaks here. Um, and this liner here, I think it's actually a very nice liner. I'm just not sure if I like it on uh, 
uh, the lower lash line and it looks like it's already faded a little bit so again I'll keep you updated on this one as well but all in all I love ColourPop's products I know I'm very familiar um, with the foundation and the powder and the other products I use today so yeah you just can't go wrong with ColourPop you guys so I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did if you could help me out by hitting that like button I truly would appreciate it I can't wait to see you guys on Thursday I love you so much and until next time